What's up Bertini fam? Now don't forget, the devil is in the details. Now before I go ahead and show you what we're gonna be working on today, do me a big favor if you have not yet joined the Bertini fam, go ahead and click that subscribe button. Join the Bertini fam. This way you can stay up to date on all of my build series content on all of my vehicles. So what we're gonna be working on today is removing this Chrome F-150 XL badge off of the vehicle because I feel like this thing just looks super, super ugly and it takes away so much from the look of this vehicle because you know this thing looks mean and aggressive and then you have like this Chrome F-150 XL and truth is, there's nothing on this vehicle anymore that is an XL, so it just doesn't make sense on this ride. So what I got here is this F-150 Limited badges that are gonna be going on the truck because truth is, everything on this vehicle has been worked on and it even has more bells and whistles than the Limited model itself. Now, before I go ahead and debadge my F-150 and get these new badges on it, don't forget, if you're interested in purchasing these badges, go ahead and check out the links in the description box below. When you're ordering these new badges, if you include in the notes section that Michael Bertini from YouTube sent you, they'll go ahead and take care of you. With that being said, go ahead and roll the intro. As you know, we can't unbox anything without our handy dandy X-Acto knife. Oh wow, I don't know if you can see this in video, but these are really, 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 really nice. Yeah, baby, yeah! They have a tape padded backing, plus the clips, plus the guide pins. These are really, really official, super high quality. All right, well now let's go ahead and get our heat gun and then remove off the old badging, heat it up a little bit and then start prying it off. Should come off pretty easy though. So definitely not the easiest job in the world, but it's also not the hardest job in the world. It just takes a little bit of patience, some heating up of the glue back here. And then what I would do is I would pull a little bit, pop a clip, pull a little bit, pop the other side. That's kind of how I did it. So I pulled, popped one side, pulled, popped the other side. This way you don't have to remove any of the fender or any of the wheel weld or anything like that. It just comes off pretty simple. Now we have to remove all of this glue. So I'll pretty much do this by hand, kind of just rub it off. And then I'll use some goof off or goo gone to remove this stuff and keep it nice and clean. And now you'll just follow it up by using some icy propohol alcohol. You can use 70% or whatever you have. I'm using 91% because that's just what I have here right now. Now, before we go ahead and install this, one thing I always recommend anytime you're putting on something that is a sticker, take a heat gun or a hair dryer, put it on a lighter setting and just lightly warm up the, the tape. This way it has a really good adhesion between the sticky part and whatever you're putting it on. Damn, did that come out looking nice. I am really, 
really pleased with the way that looks. It just has that mean vibe now to it. That further gives it that blacked out look. Anyways, let's go ahead and move on to the other side now. So as you can see, the truck now looks so much more aggressive now with the F-150 limited badging. It really, like these details are the details that make the truck. It's like when we did the seating, it's like when we did the seat belts, the steering wheel, like adding these little details to the truck really changed the game. I'm super happy with the way that it came out though. And I think this was only like $150, like it's not even that expensive. And to really transform the look of your truck, obviously look, I know that it normally is a base model XL, but with all the work that we've done to the truck and everything that we have into it, there is literally nothing of the XL on this truck anymore. Everything has pretty much been upgraded for the most part. And so I think it only makes sense because it is a one of one truck to have limited badging on there. But yeah, so I'm really stoked with the way that it came out. Now I know this video was a quick one, but I wanted to share this one with you all because I know a lot of people look at their Excel badges or look at their Chrome badges in general and can't stand the look of the Chrome. I know on all of my vehicles, and I'm sure many of you know this, by now following all of my content, I cannot stand badging in general, vehicle badging in general to me. It just it absolutely disgusts me. More so, chrome badging. If I can't get rid of the badging, because as you know, these side badges have the pins, they have the clips. So unfortunately, I can't de-badge this truck. But what I can do at the very least is black out my badging. Now, don't forget, if you're interested in blacking out your badging on your Ford F-150, go ahead and check out the links in the description box below and make sure to put in the note section of your order that Michael Bertini from YouTube sent you and they'll take care of you. Now, a lot of people ask me about these seatbelts, so I wanna make sure I include a link in the description box below just in case you're wondering where in the hell did you get red seatbelts, Ferrari red seatbelts for your Ford F-150. I'll include a link in the description box below. Whatever vehicle you have, you can actually change the color of your seatbelts. Not you yourself. There's a company by the name of safetyrestore.com that actually does it for you. Super fast turnaround time. This way you have barely any downtime with your vehicle. And the quality on these things is absolutely top notch. So make sure to check out the link in the description box below and they'll go ahead and take care of you as well. Most importantly of all, make sure you're putting out good energy into the world and you're paying it forward. I'll check y'all out later. Bye now.